All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, with less than three days to go before the start of the sixth anniversary celebration on Global, I want to take some time today to introduce you guys to, by my count, all 13 of the new units slash awakenings that we can expect to see throughout the entire celebration. And of course, the point of this is to hopefully get you guys as prepared as you possibly can be for what's to come over the next month or so on Global. Now, like I said, there are a ton of different units to talk about today, so I'm going to try to not spend too much time on any particular unit and just get through them as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Now, the unit you see on the screen right now is the AGLLR Ultra Instinct Goku, the unit that I'm guessing most people are probably the most excited for. But before we talk about him, as well as the LR Vegeta, we have to pop over to the first unit that we're all going to be getting when we first log in as soon as the anniversary starts. And that would be this guy right here, the STR Ultra Instinct Goku, the special, you know, free to play anniversary unit for this year. So yeah, starting with him, his leader skill is representatives of universe 7 category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 66%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises defense for 6 turns, and passive is attack and defense plus 66%, plus an additional attack plus 66%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks for 6 turns from start to turn, and also plus an additional attack plus 11% with each attack performed up to 66%. So obviously because he is the 6th anniversary unit, he has a lot of sixes in his kit, his leader skill, his super attack, his passive, all that stuff. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense, right? And uh, for his links, Kamehameha, Godly Power, Over in a Flash, Prepare for Battle, The First Awakened, and Tournament of Power. And his categories are Realm of Gods, Universe of Rival Saga, Pure Saiyans, uh, Representative of Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, and Power of Revival. And finally, little quick maths for you here, his additional attack plus 11% with each attack performed is calculated separately, resulting in a maximum possible boost of attack plus 285.12% after 6 attacks within the first 6 turns, and attack plus 175.56% starting from the 7th turn. So there you have it, yeah, the first unit we're going to talk about today, and he's nothing too special honestly like he's not gonna really blow anybody away with his performance but for a free to play unit actually very very solid and uh he can do a decent amount of damage obviously the dodging is nice and uh yeah that's it i mean if you have any other ultra instinct goku you're not gonna be running him but he's not bad okay so there you go we have the free to play ui goku now we're gonna pop over to the units that as I said, most people are probably most hyped for, most looking forward to, the ones that people are saving their stones for. We got the AGL Ultra Instinct Goku, as well as the Int Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So starting with the UI Goku here, leader skill is Miraculous Awakening, which is a brand new category, or representatives of Universe 7, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, and then the 12 key super attack causes colossal damage, with a high chance of performing a critical hit for one turn, and the 18 key super causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of performing a critical hit for one turn. So when it comes to building these guys in the hidden potential system, you want to give them as much additional attack as possible because they don't really need more crit. They have essentially a 50% built-in crit chance. So additionals are definitely the way to go for both the UI Goku and the Vegeta. Now, for the passive, attack and defense plus 150%, great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and that is a 70% chance that never goes away. And then Q plus 1, up to 5, with each attack evaded, including super attacks, plus an additional defense plus 30% after evading an attack, uh, including super attacks, within the same turn, and medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then when HP is 50% or less upon entering attacking turn, after the character receives attack three times in battle, 
if the character or an ally attacking in the same turn receives a KO attack, then revives and recovers 70% HP once only. Now I know the wording might be a little bit confusing, but essentially this is the revival skill part that's uh, going to be introduced during the anniversary. And if you get KO'd when your HP is 50% or less after you receive 3 attacks in battle, and um, yeah, you get KO'd essentially, you get like killed by a super attack or something like that, then you revive, you come back to life, and uh, you get 70% HP back, which is obviously extremely clutch in uh, some of the harder events in the game, right? And he also has an active skill, which is uh, Flare of Anger, greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. And it can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. So very, very good condition. And uh, it's just one of those, you know, like super attack style active skills that do a very good amount of damage. And then his links are shocking speed, prepare for battle, godly power, kamehameha, turn of power, fierce battle, and legendary power, and categories are Realm of Gods, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saints, represented Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Turtles Ghoul, Miraculous Awakening, and Power of Revival. And uh, also some calculations here, his additional uh, defense plus 30% after evading an attack is calculated separately for a total boost of defense plus 225% within the same turn. So yeah, UI Goku is a beast. He is a monster in every sense of the word. I mean, just the fact he gets 70% chance to dodge forever is already insane, but he's also doing a very impressive amount of damage. Um, after he dodges, if you get hit, he actually tanks very well too because he gets that additional 30% defense, a 50% chance to crit always, the medium chance to launch an additional attack, the additional super attack that is, and also the revival um, just makes this, you know, one of the best units in the game. Um, maybe still the best unit in the game, actually. I mean, I have to really look at some of the more recent units we, we got, but it's hard for me to believe, I guess, that there's any unit recently that's been able to beat him. You know, when you look at, like, all the utility that he provides. Um, you know what, that's a different topic for a different video. The point is, he's amazing. Okay, he's amazing. Now, moving on to the Vegeta. Kind of a similar kit, but with obvious, you know, obviously differences. We got uh, Leader Skill, Revival, or sorry, Power of Revival, new category, or Representatives representatives of Universe 7, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%. Uh, 12 key super, colossal damage with a medium chance, or sorry, high chance of performing a critical hit. Could you imagine if they gave Vegeta medium chance and Goku high chance? It wouldn't do that. It wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, high chance of performing a critical hit for one turn and then 18 key super, mega colossal damage with a high chance of performing a critical hit for one turn. Passive is attack and defense plus 150%. Reduces damage received by 10%, plus an additional damage reduction of 10% up to 30% with each attack received within the same turn. And then key plus 1 up to 5 with each attack performed. And medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then 1 HP is 50% or less upon entering attacking turn after the character receives attack 7 times in battle. If the character or an ally attacking the same turn receives a KO attack revives and recovers 70% HP once only. And its active skill causes mega colossal damage to all enemies, so an attack all active skill. And then it can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. Links are prodigies, royal lineage, godly power, prefer, prepare for battle, tournament of power, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are universe survival saga, realm of gods, pure saiyans, full power, reps universe seven, Vegeta's Family, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, Bonded Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, Miraculous Awakening, Power of Revival, and Gifted Warriors. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 categories, guys. 13 categories. Goku has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so Vegeta has 4 more categories than Goku. So that's something, but in terms of like which unit is better, I get this question a lot, and I gotta say, I agree with the 
majority of you know the community in the sense that Goku is the superior unit. Um, Vegeta is very good. Vegeta is very very good. Don't get me wrong, but Goku I do think is better in many aspects. And uh, one advantage, of course, Vegeta has is that he does have the costume. Okay, so he you know takes off his shirt uh, or not takes off, he like kind of rips off, um, which is cool that there's that costume mechanic with him that Goku doesn't have. But uh, outside of that, I mean, Goku is just it's just a better unit. But obviously, that does not mean, as I said, Vegeta is bad in any way. He's still a top, top tier unit. Um, Goku is just straight up better, man. It's just, it's just how it is. That's just how it is. Now, uh, I'm spending too much time. I'm spending too much time on these units. Let's move on to the next guy here, which is the STR Golden Frieza, or Angel Golden Frieza and Ultimate Gohan, which is one of the side units for the Dual Dokkan Fest. And uh, their leader skill is Battle of Wits, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, Super Attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals Super Attack. And passive is Attack and Defense plus 120%, Attack Enemies Attack and Defense minus 30% when performing a Super Attack. Representatives of Universe 7 Category Allies Key plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 20%, plus an additional, oh, sorry, plus a great chance of guarding all attacks when performing a super attack if there is another representatives of universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn and links are cold judgment brainiacs infighter speedy retribution shocking speed tournament of power and fierce battle and categories are universe survival saga reps of universe 7 joint forces and battle of wits overall just a very solid um side unit you know non dokkan fest unit getting a good buff on their, on their passive, pretty standard actually, but also debuffing the enemy, good support for reps of Universe 7, and of course the guarding of all attacks will reduce their damage taken by a ton, right? So overall just a great unit. And next up we have the other side unit, which also includes Gohan. We have Tech, Ultimate Gohan, and Piccolo. Leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, Category Key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn. It causes supreme damage with a medium chance of performing a critical hit. And passive is attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% and great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Performs a critical hit on stunned enemies and then reps of Universe 7, Category Allies, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 20%, plus disables enemies guard when performing a super attack if there is another reps of Universe 7, Category Ally attacking in the same turn. Their links are Cold Judgment, Brainiac, Solid Support, Kamehameha, Speedy Retribution, uh, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, reps of Universe 7, Joint Forces, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, Battle of Wits, and Power of Revival. And their additional attack and defense plus 120% is calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack and defense plus 340% when all conditions are met. I mean, at this point, I really shouldn't be surprised when, you know, these like side units on banners are extremely good, but it still kind of shocks me, man. Every single time I see these like massive numbers, I'm like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, even if you don't pull the main unit and you happen to pull the side unit, that's still really good. But obviously, you still want the LRs over these guys, right? So, uh, yeah, moving on now, we have the Extreme Z Awakening for Int Ultra Instinct Goku, one of the earlier, uh, you know, category Dokkan Fest leads. And uh, this is definitely one that I am super super excited for i cannot wait for this guy to drop during part two of the anniversary and uh since we're strapped for time i'm not going to talk about what he does before the easy eight let's just jump right into the easy eight details all right so his leader skill is realm of gods category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 160 percent or int type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack raises attack and defense, so infinitely stacking, and causes immense damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 150%, and awakens when HP is 50% or below. So once you meet this condition, 
you awaken into Ultra Instinct Goku or Mastered Ultra Instinct. And a super attack is raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, passive is key plus 3, attack plus 200%, and defense plus 100%, and great chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is a 70% chance, disables enemies' guard, evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for one turn after awakening. So basically, on the turn that he awakens into Mastered Ultra Instinct, he will dodge all attacks guaranteed and uh, in terms of the stats obviously they do get a pretty substantial bump so when maxed out and at rainbow status he will have 18,550 hp 20,280 attack and 12,723 defense these numbers are crazy man these are some lr numbers right there like his stats actually rival a rainbowed lr so that's why He's so good. In addition to, of course, the, the passive and the super attack being awesome. I mean, infinitely stacking attack and defense on top of these buffs, on top of the stats. Uh, he's amazing, man. He really is. So there you have it. Easy 8 int Ultra Instinct Goku. We gotta move on, though. Next up, we have one of the Part 2 LRs for the top legendary summon. The int Android 17 slash Team Universe 7. Leader skill is reps of universe 7, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or super int types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, 12 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, and raises allies defense by 30% for one turn, 18 key super mega colossal damage, raises allies defense by 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit by 7% for one turn. Passive, attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when there are 5 or more reps of Universe 7 category allies on the team, plus an additional attack plus 70% when key is 22 or more, and key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Their active skill greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and all allies key plus 7 for one turn and the condition is there have to be five or more reps of universe 7 category allies on the team and another two reps of universe 7 category allies attacking in the same turn when facing only one enemy whose hp is 50 percent or less ones only okay so this is one of the rougher conditions in the game in my opinion because not only is there an HP restriction of 50% or less for the enemy. There's also the fact that you can only use it against one enemy, and you also basically have to have a full team of reps of Universe 7. I mean, you could potentially have like two units that are not in the category, but for the most part, in order to get this consistently, which is gonna be hard, uh, you need to have a full reps of Universe 7 team, but I guess this whole unit is just built off the fact that like, you're running a full reps of universe 7 team right so i guess it makes sense um and yeah i don't love this condition i think it could have been less restrictive but it is what it is and links are android assault infinite energy solid support tracking speed uh tournament of power fierce battle and legendary power and categories are universe survival saga reps of universe 7 and joined forces and um yeah, this is a really good unit, actually. It's a really, really good unit. They hit extremely, extremely hard, guys. Like, in terms of damage output, they will not disappoint. And in terms of animations, they definitely do not disappoint because they have some of my favorite animations in the entire game. Um, but as I said, man, they're a little bit restrictive, for sure. Um, definitely, you know, meant to be run exclusively at this point on the reps of universe 7 team but when they are on this team they're great okay so that is one half of the top legendary summon for part two the other half is the fizz angel golden frieza in android 17. leader skill is universe survival saga or joint forces category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 150 percent 12 key super greatly raises attack for one turn causes colossal damage An 18 key super raises attack for one turn causes Mega Colossal Damage, and lowers Attack and Defense. Passive, Attack and Defense plus 70%, great chance 
of launching up to two additional attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% up to 70%, and key plus one up to key plus seven, with each attack performed, reduces damage received, and raises chance of performing a critical hit by 7% with each attack performed within the same turn. An active skill gives them key plus seven and defense plus 77% and performs a guaranteed critical hit for one turn and it can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during battle once only. Links are tough as nails, Brainiac, Tallest Support, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, Reps of Universe 7, Joint Forces, and Battle of Wits. Okay, so this unit is maybe slightly controversial because a lot of people don't like them. Okay, from what I can tell based on like what I've seen on social media and just like comments that I've seen, um, some people think this unit is trash and I disagree. Okay, this unit is definitely not trash. Are they super, super impressive? I don't think they're like that amazing. I don't think they're a top, you know, 10 LR in the game, but they're still good, man. I mean, they're still getting a pretty significant buff. They're going to be tanking quite well after a couple of attacks. Um, as you can see here, right, they get 7% crit chance and also 7% damage reduction with each attack. And because they can get two additional attacks uh, on their passive, plus whatever you have in the hidden potential system can give them another you know, additional attack. So potentially up to four attacks per turn, right? So with the four attacks, you're getting 28% more crit chance, 28% damage reduction. And um, yeah, their passive, or rather their active skill is good, but not great, right? Especially because you need four or more supers to activate it, which um, can take a while. So I see where the criticism is coming from. I'm not saying it's a you know perfect unit by any means, right? Because it's not, but they're not trash. That's all I'm trying to say. They're, they're definitely far from trash. Okay, now from there, we got to talk about the other Extremes the Awakening for an existing unit in the game. And this one really, uh, I mean, it really took me by surprise. It took a lot of other people by surprise for sure because nobody saw this coming. Nobody saw LR freaking Goku and Frieza getting an Extremes the Awakening, right? But it's happening. It's coming for part three of the anniversary. And uh, just like with UI Goku, we're going to skip the pre-Easy-8 details, jump right into the Easy-8 details. So their leader skill will be reps of Universe 7, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 177%, or tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack. That's the 12 key super, of course. And then the 18 key super raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. Passive attack and defense plus 77% when attacking plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when performing an ultra super attack plus an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status, is stunned, or the target enemy's super attack is sealed and key plus one at the start of each turn up to seven. So essentially they just solved any issue this unit had for defense and also any key issues that they potentially you know, had in the past too, right? I mean, I know I said I wouldn't look at the you know, pre easy details, but I gotta show you guys, man. They got some additional defense here, and they also got some more conditions that allows them to get this additional 77% attack here. And they also raise defense on their supers, which they didn't do before. And uh, they also, of course, get the extra key at the start of each turn, which also helps in getting that ultra super attack. So, um... Not necessarily a unit that I guess needed an EZA, but they greatly benefited from this EZA. So I cannot wait for this for this as well, man. Just like the NTY Goku. All right, now before we go, we got a few more units, and these guys are all free to play units. The first one, the most hype one in my opinion, is the Fizz LR uh, Master Roshi. You know, following the trend of previous anniversaries where. We get a new free-to-play LR that also gets an Extreme Z Awakening. And man, is this dude amazing. He is such an amazing unit. And uh, it's also a Master Roshi, which 
you know, I've been asking for for a long time, just like a really good Master Roshi in the game, and this guy is definitely that. So, uh, after his Extreme Z Awakening, I'm not going to talk about the pre-easy details, because I'm assuming that everybody is eventually going to Extreme Z Awaken him. Leader skill is Turtle School, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, 12 Key Super, massively raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And then the 18 Key Super raises attack by 628% for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and seals super attack. Passive defense plus 120%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is a 30% chance. Turtle School category allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40%. And then when HP is 50% or less upon attacking or upon entering attacking turn, and there are two or more Turtle School category allies on the team, if the character or an ally attacking the same turn receives a KO attack, revives and recovers 60% HP once only. So yeah, he has a revival skill just like the uh, MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta. And on top of that, he's an amazing support for Turtle School. He has a medium chance to dodge. And even though he doesn't get any other attack on his passive, he gets all he needs with the Ultra Super. Okay, 628% attack. And also, of course, stunning with the 12 key, sealing with the 18 key, a lot of utility with this guy, and I almost forgot, he has an active skill guys. Active skill massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and all allies keep plus 7, and it can be activated after the character receives attack 7 or more times in battle, and there is another turtle school category ally attacking in the same turn. Okay, I'll admit, 7 attacks is a lot, 7 is a lot, but I mean, I can't really complain, you know, because he's just so good in every other aspect. So, uh, there's Master Roshi. He's amazing. He's a beast. Can't wait. And next up, we have another unit that I'm also quite excited for because it includes my girl Android 18. We got Int, Krillin, and Android 18. With their Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill is Joint Forces Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage to enemy, and Passive is changes Fizz Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres, launches an additional Super Attack with 5 or more Int Key Spheres obtained, and Attack and Defense plus 30% with each attack performed up to 100%. And 80%. Links are Experienced Fighters, Courage, Cold Judgment, Brainiacs, uh, Solid Support, Term of Power, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Reps Universe 7, Joint Forces, and Battle of Wits. So, on paper, I know they don't look super impressive, but in practice, they're ridiculous, man. They hit so damn hard. And of course, the reason that's the case is because. They're greatly raising attack, they're greatly stacking attack every single super. They get up to two guaranteed supers on their passive, and if you have hidden potential investment, which, which obviously you should, right? Then they can launch up to three supers, and uh, this attack and defense plus 180% is, you know, quite a bit, right? And you can get it pretty quickly, because if you're doing two supers every turn, then it shouldn't take you more than three appearances to max that out. And if it's three supers per turn, then only two appearances, right? So yeah, they're really good. And the other free to play unit we gotta talk about too is the Tech, Master Roshi, and Tien, um, who also have an Extreme Z Awakening. All these guys have these EAs, you might have noticed. Leader skill is Earthlings category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, lowers attack and defense, and seals super attacks. And passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 70% and reps of universe 7 category allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40%. So, you know, this category has always been good, but it never really had a good support unit, right? And now it does, man, and it's a free-to-play unit. Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 40% is amazing. And then links are experienced fighters, brainiacs, toughest nails, cold judgment, solid support, 
Tournament of Power, Shattering the Limit, and categories are Universe Survival Saga, Reps of Universe 7, Joint Forces, Earthlings, and Battle of Wits. And their additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 257% after 4 attacks. So, so not only are they phenomenal you know, as a support, but they can also hold their own you know, for damage output and defense too. So uh, that's Tien and Roshi. And lastly, we gotta give some love to this gem of a free-to-play unit too. This is the Awakening for the Fizz UI Goku that came out a long time ago. And with his Extreme Z Awakening, this guy honestly rivals like Dokkan Fest units, or at least some, not all of them of course, but like he could, if he had better stats, if he had like Dokkan Fest stats, he would be a top tier Dokkan Fest unit for sure. Leader skill is Universe Survival Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack and defense, infinitely stacking, and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, Universe Survival Saga category allies key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is a 50% dodge chance. And this doesn't go away. It, he, he keeps it forever. So, yeah, I mean, he's awesome. <laughs> he's so damn good. And links are Kamehameha, prepare for battle, experienced fighters, godly power, tournament power, the first awakened, and shattering the limit. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Reps, of Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, and Power of Revival. So, there you have it guys. That is the final, 13th and final unit, uh, or Awakening, that we'll be getting for the 6th anniversary. I hope I didn't miss any. I, I might have, maybe. There's a chance, I don't know, but... I think I've covered at least all the important ones if there is like one or two that I'm missing. I don't think I am though. I really don't think I am. Anyways, uh, that's the video. Hope you guys are excited. Let me know in the comments down below of all the stuff we talked about, all these units, which one are you the most excited for? I'm guessing most people are going to say AGLLR Ultra Instinct Goku, but if you're a big Golden Frieza fan, then maybe it's this guy. Maybe it's the EZA for the LR. Or maybe it's one of these free-to-play units. I know I am pretty stoked, honestly, for all of them. So, I just can't wait, man, for the anniversary to come. It can't come sooner. We're less than three days to go, man. Less than three days, maybe even sooner, depending on when you're watching this. And, uh, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Lots more 6th anniversary content coming up, so definitely stay tuned. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.